Good morning, first graders, and welcome to this edition of First Grade Bible Review. On this episode of First Grade Bible Review, you're going to need a whiteboard and a whiteboard marker. Thank you, thank you. Okay, you are going to get a chance to spin this wheel if you get your answers correct on this edition of First Grade Bible Review. Okay, let me share our screen. Here we go. The first question you're going to write the answer for is, what sign did God give us that he promised to never destroy the earth again with a flood? Don't, oh, don't give me the answer. Don't say it out loud. Go ahead and write that answer on your whiteboard. What was the sign that God gave us that he promised to never destroy the earth again with a flood? All right, the next one. What name, meaning three in one, is given to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit? All right, I'm giving you one more second to write it down. Okay, and next question. What did God make the first man out of? Hmm, the first man he talks about in the Bible. What was he made out of? All right, just another second to write down. What was the first man that God made made out of? Okay, and the next question. To whom did God speak? from a burning bush. Who was it that God spoke to from a burning bush? Go ahead and write it down. All right, just another second to write down who God spoke to from a burning bush. Okay, and the next question, in what town was Jesus, our Lord and Savior, born? No need to spell it correctly, just try your best to sound it out. Okay, and the next question, what were the people trying to do when they built the Tower of Babel? Remember, they built the Tower of Babel really, really tall, really, really high. They were trying to reach what? All right, go ahead and write your answer down. Okay, and next question, what are the first three words in the Bible? Hmm, think about that and write them down. the first three words in the Bible. All right. And the next question is, what is the name of the tradition where a believer in Jesus is lowered underwater and raised again? Again, what is the name of the tradition where a believer is lowered underwater and raised again? Go ahead. Okay, friends, and you're down to two more questions. The wise men brought three kinds of gifts to baby Jesus. Uh, number one was gold, number two was myrrh, and number three was an oil, and it was called, okay, it is the king of all oils, this oil. If your parents know essential oils, they would know what oil this is. All right, go ahead and write it down. Couple more seconds to write down the name of the oil, the third gift that the wise men brought to sweet eight pound baby Jesus. 
All right, and the last one, what kind of water did Jesus offer the woman at Jacob's well? What kind of water was that? The Samaritan woman, do you remember? What was the water? He said he had water that would no longer, that would quench her thirst, that she no longer needed any more water because he was gonna give her this kind of water. Do you remember? All right, write it down. Couple more seconds. As soon as this little jingle's over, and we'll check our, I'm gonna need you guys to write. Okay, I'm gonna need you to make sure that all of those are written. There's 10 questions I just asked you, okay? We have learned all of these through all the different stories that we've done. Okay, I wanna make sure that your answers match the answers that I have here. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. What sign did God give us that he promised to never destroy the earth again with a flood? It was a rainbow. Very good. Yeah, that is correct. In Genesis 9, 11 through 13, it talks about the story of Noah and he sent a great flood. He sent a great flood to wipe out that generation of people and he started a whole new generation of people and he promised that when he whenever there was a rainbow that was a sign that God would never flood the earth again yeah God all right next what name means three in one and is given to God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit if you said Trinity you're exactly correct the Trinity not to be confused with Trinity from second grade all right what did god make the first man out of did you say a rib nope not with barbecue sauce not the mick not to be confused with the mick rib that only makes an appearance sometimes at mcdonald's but dust in genesis 2 7 god created adam out of dust yay god all right Next, to whom did God speak from a burning bush? Do you remember that story? He appeared to this person, also known as his very good friend. If you said Moses, you're exactly correct. Congratulations. Okay, next. In what town was Jesus born? That's right, it was Bethlehem in Matthew 2, 1. It tells us that Jesus was born in Bethlehem. What were the people trying to do when they built the Tower of Babel? Yes, that is correct. They were trying to reach heaven. That story is found in Genesis 11, four. Very good. What are the first three words in the Bible? Hmm. Hmm. Did you get it? Yes, in the beginning, Genesis 1, 1 says in the beginning, and it continues on to say God created the heavens and the earth. Yeah, God. Okay, what was the name of the tradition where a believer in Jesus is lowered underwater and raised again? Do you remember? Some of you might have done this already, or you've seen your older sisters or brothers or maybe someone else in your family, it's called baptism. Yes, correct, baptism. And next, the wise men brought three kinds of gifts to baby Jesus, gold, myrrh, and the last one, frankincense. Very good, frankincense is an essential oil, but it's also made out of a resin. Some of you might know that, but that's found in Matthew chapter two, verse 11. And the last one, what kind of water did Jesus offer the woman at Jacob's well? The Samaritan woman, you remember that story? He said, I have a water that I can give you that's none like any other water. This will quench your thirst forever. It is the living water found in John 4, 10. Living water, that's the water that only God can give us. All right, friends, if you got every single one of those right, there are 20, 10 questions. If every single one of those answers is correct on your whiteboard, tell your parents to snap a picture. They can email it to me, they can text it to me, or they can send it on class tag, and you will get a chance 
to spin this wheel. We've got a lot of great prizes on here, popsicles, some air hugs from your teacher, a special shout out from your teacher in the next episode of uh, Bible Review, um, some high fives. It could be um, a high five with a glove on. It could be an elbow. It can be a regular high five, whatever you choose. All right, friends. Um, but thank you for joining us on this edition of First Grade Bible Review. It has been wonderful reviewing Bible with you. Thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful day, friends.